Welcome to Puerto Viejo, Rock City. And today, we're going to explore everything awesome that Puerto Viejo has to offer. But where exactly is Puerto Viejo located? Well, it's located on the Ecuadorian coast, and it is the capital city of Manabí. And something you wouldn't know unless you came to Puerto Viejo is that the food is spectacular. I can't stress enough how amazing encebollado is. It's the best Ecuadorian dish. And between you and me, Puerto Viejo has the best encebollados in all of Ecuador, hands down. But life isn't all about encebollado, even though I wish it was. Believe it or not, encebollado has a strong competitor. And it's this bad boy right here. This is called ceviche. And as a fellow fish or shrimp based dish, there's always a constant competition of which one is better. You're either Team Ceviche or Team Encebollado. You already know what team I'm on. But they're both undoubtedly amazing, so you definitely have to try them out. But, 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 I bet at this point, you would think that Puerto Viejo only has soup-like foods, right? Wrong. This is Bolón. This is Pan de Almidón. And this is Corviche. They look strange, right? They're amazingly tasty. But if you're looking for something more recognizable, maybe some beef, then you definitely have to try the shish kebabs, also known as chuzos, and hamburgers that they have here in Puerto Viejo. They're the best in Puerto Viejo and the best in all of Ecuador. How do I know? Well, the guy who makes them, this is my dad. You don't believe me? Come try them out. But even though all these amazing foods might be enough to make you want to visit the city, there's still a lot of things that you have to see. For example, have you seen my big pot? Hello there. Not this one. And not Bruh. the pot that you're thinking of either. I'm talking about this pot right here. And while it's a marvelous sight in and of itself, there's some really cool things to look at inside. In fact, let's go in and check out exactly what it has to offer. As you can see, there's a variety of historical things that have been preserved here that you definitely want to look at. And best of all, it's all free. But if you're feeling hungry, this place also doubles as a restaurant. And even though it looks like everything is related to food, it isn't always that way. For example, now we're at the Puerto Viejo Museum and there's no mention of food here. But there are tons of historical things to check out. For example, look at these amazing artifacts. Or you can check out this awesome section of bird-related paintings. Or there's also tons of different types of paintings here that you can check out as well. But if you want to know what Puerto Viejo looked like in the past, then you're in luck. Because recently, the museum opened up a new section where they have tons of pictures that show Puerto Viejo as it was a long time ago. So you definitely have to see it. And if you want to visit, the museum is 100% free. So come check out all the cultural things it has to offer. But speaking of culture, there's actually a place that's dedicated to culture here. It's called La Casa de la Cultura, which is literally the cultural house. And I think there's an event happening there right now. So let's go check it out. Right now we're here at La Casa de la Cultura. This place is typically used for different types of plays. Warning, the following play is for awesome audiences only. We hope you enjoy this mini production. Looks like we're safe over here. You saved my life. How can I repay you? Well, actually, I'm someone you know. Hey. Oh my god, is that you, Ace? Yes, it's me. And you're my Mary Jane. The worst she can say is no. Ew. Um, well, they're calling me, so... See you. Bye, Ace. Bravo, bravo, what an amazing performance. And the actors, top notch. For events, and also for people who want to hold musical concerts or just singers who want to practice here. Today, we had an event that was actually anime related, if you couldn't tell. So, let's summarize it by showing you exactly what happened today. Just a small part, let's get the montage started. While we're on the topic of Ecuadorian culture, I actually ran into a singer 
who is actually very well known here in Ecuador, and she's going to sing a song for us here today. Hello, my name is Hanan. I have the song for you. Escúchame bien, por si me quieres ver. Ahí quedan las fotos posteadas. Ahora soy yo la que no le importa nada. Nada es como ayer, ya se te hizo tarde. Me cansé de todas tus cagadas. Te lo di todo a cambio de nada. Well, I wish I could sing like that. We're at one of the two biggest and most important parks in Puerto Viejo. And the reason why these parks are important is because before these parks existed, these places looked terrible. In fact, check out these pictures. Right now, we're at Rotonda Park, and there are a ton of things to do here. For example, you can rent out these paddle uh -oh. or pedal boats here at the park and take a quick lap around the water, just like they're doing over there. Or you can grab a go-kart and take a quick lap around the track. And people of all ages are allowed. And you can try out these bad boys in case you're not by yourself. Or if you want to go around the whole park. Or... <laughs> And at the park, people can hold various events, such as quinceañeras, like she's doing right now. Hi! There's also a playground for the kids, exercise stations in case you want to work out, various places to do sports, such as indoor, and there's also volleyball. And if you're really into rock climbing, you can also try this rock climbing section over here at the park. And probably one of the most important things about Rotonda Park is the skate park that it has. No other park has this in Puerto Viejo. Heck, in Puerto Viejo, there aren't really a lot of places to skate. So you definitely got to check it out. But if you're more into enjoying nature, then you definitely have to check out Puerto Viejo's other largest park, which is Las Vegas Park. And even though there are some things here that are very similar to Rotonda Park, there is a lot. I mean a lot. No, seriously, I mean a ton of green area where you can just chill out, enjoy the view, and relax. But aside from all the natural things that Las Vegas Park has to offer, there's also this giant stage. On this stage, they hold different types of events, such as concerts, beauty pageants, plays, and people even practice their choreographies here, like what they're doing right now. And now, we're at the Puerto Viejo shopping. And why exactly are we here? Let's go somewhere else. Uh, n not here either. Let's try this again. Wait, what? No, not the university! Okay, I got it this time. Now, we're at Manabi's Federation of Sports, or La Federación Deportiva de Manabi. This is the place where people, especially kids, come to do a variety of sports, professionally. But if they want, they can try out the sport first, before they take it more seriously. Some of the sports you can find here are gymnastics, Basketball, track and field, boxing, taekwondo, and believe it or not, we even have America's pastime, baseball. Yo, can I play? Oh. Whoop. That's more like it. Let me introduce you to the Puerto Viejo Bulldogs. The first and only team in Puerto Viejo to win a divisional championship. I bet you didn't know there was American football in Ecuador, much less in the city of Puerto Viejo. But if you ever buy the city, come check us out. Let's go! Puerto Viejo sure is awesome, but you know what? I miss the States. It's really hard being away from the place they used to call home for so long. And I especially miss the food, but I found a place that's kind of like my home away from home. And it's this place right here. Welcome to Bloom. Bloom is an American coffee shop and diner with an American style environment and super tasty American treats, such as Chicago style pizza, classic New York style cheesecake, and a variety of milkshakes. And there's tons of other tasty snacks that you definitely have to try out. But you know, it's getting to be that time. You know what time I'm talking about. Yo. It's time to hang out. Let's go. The nightlife is calling and I'm gonna answer. Let's go. The nightlife in Puerto Viejo is pretty simple and it focuses on three main things, which are going to a bar and grabbing something to drink. 
go out on the street and drink with friends. Cheers! Cheers. Oh. Listen to live music while grabbing a bite to eat and enjoy even more live music. But enough of that for now. Let's enjoy the rest of the night. I got something special for you next. I've said it before, but people always end up at the beach after going out at night. And this beach is actually a part of Puerto Viejo. Welcome to Crucita Beach. And even though swimming in the beach is going to be the main thing you're going to want to do here, there are other things you can do as well, such as paragliding, which sad to say I won't be doing today. But you can check out this clip so you can see what it's like. And you can check out this amazing view at this place called El Mirador or The Looker in English. And remember, this is all a part of Puerto Viejo. And if you're looking to live in a place like Puerto Viejo or any place in Ecuador, then you definitely want to check out this video over here where you can find out how much it costs to live anywhere in Ecuador. But for now, I'm going to check out this amazing view. So make sure you take care. I'll talk to you guys later. Ace out.